Hello everyone, welcome to another Tabletop Gold video game stream dot com. I'm Lars Castine. I'm joined today, as always, by the player himself, the man with the golden mouse, R. Matt Humphreys. <laughs> hey, y'all. I, I uh, will now only respond to the man with the golden mouse. It's pretty good, from right? Here on out. I <laughs> love it. I yeah. absolutely love it. <laughs> um, well, let's make that stick. <laughs> um, let's yeah. get another <laughs> dumbass nickname that we can uh, make part of the thing. We are, um, I just, uh, a viewer, I just want to let you know, I just solved a bunch of technical things and potentially broke a number of other things at the same time. So I'm like less confident about what it is that we're broadcasting right now than I uh, normally am. So if you wouldn't mind letting us know while you're watching, if you hear Armat being particularly loud or quiet or gameplay going away or anything like that, let me know because I'm flying a little bit blind right now, if you catch my drift. Um, Armat, would you mind just saying a little bit of something? Uh, t what's going on with you today? What's happening down in the East Texas town of San Antonio? Uh, not too much. It's been a quiet morning. Took my dog out for a walk and uh, enjoyed uh, the weather is finally cooling down a little bit. So it's no sub 100, which is uh, delightful. And um, yeah, uh, that's about all that's been going on on this uh, lazy Saturday morning, pretty much um, now Saturday afternoon. Have you um gotten any sort of like weather fallout from the hurricane? Has, have you seen any, any of that? Because you're like pretty... Like, you, I, I don't know how geography works, but, like, San Antonio is not, like, that's on-ish, on kind of on the Gulf Coast. Am I crazy? Am I, like, completely off? I'm completely off. No, no. Uh, okay. We're not to we're not super far from it. Um, but, no, luckily we've been totally unaffected by uh, Hurricane Ian. Um, thank heavens. Uh, yeah. I feel terrible for those folks in Florida. Uh, what a... Seems like nightmare. a complete nightmare. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, luckily, um, I, uh, we're, we're sort of, uh, uh, unaffected here. Um, happily. Good. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I probably should have yeah. asked you that. Let's call it uh, a week ago when the hurricane was happening rather than just being like, Oh yeah, by the way, did that whole hurricane thing affect you at all? Nah. I, my... I would have let you know, probably. Yeah, probably so. I'm hey, just got this minor right hurricane we're dealing with here. Uh, I'm like, yeah, the yeah, recording yeah, yeah. schedule so, uh, might get a little goofed up. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> make your attack roll. Uh, just come on. Um, yeah. If you don't know us, uh, I'm Lars. That's our Matt. Like we uh, introduce ourselves. We are on a tabletop role playing game podcast, an actual play podcast called Tabletop Gold. And in addition to producing the show that we produce, we also do streaming of table of, of games that we think will appeal to people who like our show which is like generally speaking shows that are, are games that are related to uh tabletop gaming in some way and the game that we were playing today is no exception to that the game that we were playing today is a little something i like to and basically everybody likes to because it's its name call inscription and we're getting into the yes. end of it we're getting into the old home stretch Arm no and i am so high hyped for the ending okay i've maybe yeah. hyped the ending a little bit for you i think i've said things to you like this ending is good uh potentially yeah you you have said uh something to that effect yes and i am very excited about it um uh also i'm just uh, uh hyped to get more of this uh the mystery surrounding what's happening to poor luke carter the lucky carter um, yeah who appears to be uh, sort of going uh, insane in a kind of a classic horror story kind of way, you know? Yeah. Um, it's pretty exciting. I... Perfect for spooky season. It is perfect for spooky season, absolutely. Um, I completely agree. Lol, without, I guess without any further ado, why don't, we, why don't we start to jam, shall we? Is it jam time? I think it's jam time. Okay, let's uh, let's jam you know, then. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, I got right. the chat open here. If you want to say let's hello, see. if you got any uh, any tips, any tricks. Oh yeah. Well, so okay. So we're here in Act Three. We're sitting in front of the robot scribe Poe, P O three, and you're you're dealing yes. with the northwestern quadrant of the map, and you just 
turned on the fourth of four satellite dishes that are required for you to continue making forward progress. Right? Isn't that what's going on? That is correct. Absolutely. And so I think um, it seems like it maybe didn't save, but we went up the elevator last time, which yeah, I, think I guess it didn't checkpoint right there. Here. But uh, there here we go. Now we're checkpointed and let's see what's going on here. Trade time. Is it trade right, time already? It, it appears to be. Interesting. So we've got a uh, conduit card here, kind cell, as opposed to a soft cell. Uh, sure. Got a little sex Deep dwarf love. happening. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice, I, went for, nice. I went for a deeper cut, but okay. I, I, I love that you went with sex dwarf. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, we have twin powered. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, gems hmm. conduit. Seems hmm. as though I'm not broadcasting gameplay anymore, baby. There we go. Oh, no. Yeah. No, I, I did some things that I should not do. Gotcha. Empty spaces within a circuit completed by spawn gem vessels. I'm not sure I love any of these cards, to be honest. <laughs> uh, what does the kind cell do, if you wouldn't mind? Uh, I, I think I was not broadcasting at that time. Of course, yeah. A when gift from power. So uh, it's like it lets you draw another card, but who cares? You drew that card instead. Right. Um, like I drew this piece of crap instead of what I actually wanted. I guess it's good for something. Yeah. I don't know. In, I, had, I don't know either. None of these particularly pique my interest, I have to say. Um, Can you just back out? Can you just like walk away? <laughs> like if you had, uh, it does if you had not. Asked a couple times. You can't say like, screw you, I'm getting up from this table. No. Sadly, no. Okay. Um, unfortunate. Right. Cool. Um, Cool. Very cool. Very um, cool. Well, they're all two power, so I'm going to take the gem conduit, sure. I guess. Sure. Something interesting might happen. Yeah. And let's see. What are we going to trade <laughs> okay. for it? Uh, actually, you know what? We'll trade. Let's trade Lil Toot X, which is not We've a We've already card. gotten everything we need to out of Mr. Toot, so that all, that all yeah. makes sense to me. Yeah. There we go. All right. Hey. Hey. There we hey. go. Hey. Hey. Oh. There's a crank. I don't know. Oh, is this supposed to be like where we? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I get right because we're in the po the po zone. So if you yeah. unlock that thing now, does that crank do anything for you? Like now that you've done that lock, no, no, does not appear. A so. foolish question from a fool. All right. Well, let's. Uh, speaking of fools, let's cook this fool. Um, That's what you do with fools. You cook them up, cook them for dinner. You gotta cook them. Eat them for All dessert. Right, we got a Sam Fisher splinter cell. There okay. With the does he have the three the three dots on his little mask guy? <laughs> He kind of does actually. He's got oh, the yeah, three. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, is he voiced by Michael Ironsides? <laughs> is that who did his voice? <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Uh, I guess put that out. Yeah. Um, what do you figure? Oh, if you do the buff cell, do your towers get? Um... Oh, who knows? I don't understand what's happening anymore. The level yeah, of complexity I've... has gone through the roof introducing these circuits. I think that I completely ignored all circuits, and I don't know what's happening. I think that was probably wise. Um, right, oh, so once we... that thing is in a circuit, it's going to kill all your dudes, which is probably bad. Right. Oh, that that's going to get tripartite. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, it's going to do three way attacking. As soon as it's got right. juice. So let's um, kill it. I don't know. Yeah, do you want to hammer, uh, hammer one of these? Hammer one of those guys? Honda. Yeah, I'm going to hammer that guy on the far right. Sure. Put Why not? A sniper bot. So now and... only your sapphire vessel is in the vessel, giving you an extra energy. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. There we go. All right. I think um, you're in a good position. Well, if you can, a... 
like just slowly throw damage down, you can use your sniper to kill the circuits and stop circuits from ever being made. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can kill the buff conduit, then you can kill the next thing that comes down, and your Orlu will just chip away, chip away, chip away. Totally. All right. Well, there we go. And um, kill see, that. Yeah. Kill Let's, that. Buff. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Not going to get quite as many Robo Bucks, probably. But, well, you can uh, probably, by the time you have drawn into your good shit, you know, like you're probably in. I don't know. And yeah. because you I killed the. I, if I. You know what? Let's just go ahead with what we got here. Oh, oh hey. Zip, Zip Tankstein. Tankstein. The Fantastic. names on these, so good, so, so good. good, very good. Let's get down to, wow, nine toughness. Ooh, and it took care of my Orlu's vessel. That's nine health, really? Less, uh, yeah. Woof. So let's see. Yeah. Um, hmm. Well, you can win, right. I think. Well, I've got a full, to. yeah. You can win if you wanna. <laughs> Speaking of 80s music. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta wake a, up early in the morning, way. Zip, if you wanna catch up with Luck, Luke, whoever we are. Yeah. <laughs> um, Armand, I was having a thought about this game. Yes. And I was thinking about the, the four scribes are um, both if we're looking at this from a tabletop gaming perspective, are both NPCs and GMs. Yes. That's kind of cool, isn't it? I thought, I was thinking about that, and it, it, it led me to some interesting places, which I feel like this game kind of already goes. Oh, sorry, what are we doing right now? We're, we're, are we upgrading somebody, or are we getting rid of somebody? We're killing somebody. I... I'm, to be honest, I'm kind of not sure which we're doing. Okay. Um, oh, well, I, I think, think we're, we I might think we're gem be gemifying. Are we gemming? Okay. Well, who do you want to gem? Let's uh, let's try the lonely whiz whizbot. You want right? to gem the whizbot? Because we've got. Yeah, let's gem the whizbot. Gem the whizbot. We've got our sniper bot. Um. Yeah, all our good guys are kind of already gemmed up. So is our our Orobot it. is gemmed. Plus, Plus this way. Oh, oh it's getting we're right. adding it's getting a. a um, All right, unkillable. Uh, sure, unkillable. Not yeah. bad. All right. Mighty leap. Uh, let's go unkillable. I mean, I think unkillable, unkillable versions of cheap cards are good in this part of the game. Oh, interesting. Actually, I think that just shot it back out. So let's. It doesn't like add, the, It doesn't like um, you doing that to the Wizbot, huh? What about that Orlu's? Do you want to or, do an unkillable I think, Orlu? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, let's do an unkillable Orlu. That seems real nice. Yes, please. Great. There we go. Terrific. Awesome. Huh. Cool. Uh, really? Okay. Let's go this way. Let's go. And it got me to a place yeah. where I was imagining, what if you did like a, a tabletop role-playing game campaign <laughs> and this is maybe i'm only saying this out loud on a stream because it's such an idiotic idea that i think we would never do it <laughs> but and and if we and and if people like this idea then i guess we will do it what if you did a, a campaign of a game where you play you're playing in a, a game system let's say we start off with pathfinder right mm-hmm and eventually all of the characters sit down and play a tabletop role playing game with a with an npc who is also a gm and then you're playing those characters playing like blades in the dark and then those characters sit down and start playing a tabletop role playing game with a <laughs> with a gm and let's say that's mothership and then those characters so you have eventually something where you have pl characters playing characters playing characters playing characters <laughs> 
Um, that would be kind of fun. Uh, I think I it would be like. truly ridiculous and maybe not good at all, but I just was sort of tickled by the idea, you know? Totally. Um, all right, what do we want? I think we want to draw a real card. Oh, excellent. We can get down a... Hmm. Well, I think we need an Orlu's vessel out there. You want to you pop that V? Yeah. Let's get a vessel because that's going to start getting damage out there. And and your busted 3D printer will is gemmed and will be enhanced slightly. Yeah. So there we go. Um, but this is one of those fights where we're on a timetable. So Yep. You got to draw uh, into some good stuff eventually. Yeah. Ah, excellent. Sniperbot. Uh, let's see. And Sniperbot is cheap because you got Orlu out there. Yeah, so let's put the gem conduit down here. Well, let's see what that does. It does and then nothing. A whole lot of nothing, and then we can get I guess if the busted sniper. 3D printer were a card that were circuited up, then it would get the enhancement. Right. I think that's... So you're clearing defenses. Uh, yeah, and now I got a... A little scary. Yeah, I'm a little worried about this, to be honest. Um, I so, think I'm going to yeah. hammer out the gems conduit and put the fish Throw bot a fish in there. On the, yeah, good fish, uh, of course. And if you were and... to hammer him, would you immediately draw the good fish? No, uh, I'm not saying I do it now, but random. once you have the energy, maybe you want to do it. Right. Um, all right. Let's let's find out. All right. Time to start applying damage. I feel pretty good about the amount of damage that you're applying. Yeah, you're in good shape. You're fine. No, you're not. Yeah, you're I fine. think. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> ah. Out of the deck, oh, into boy. the hand. Um, okay. So you can kill the sapphire vessel. So, yeah, and that's what I'm gonna do. Put down a lonely wizbot. All right. Uh, yep. Let's hope. Well. All right. Yeah, you're I okay. think I think we're okay. I think you're okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, we happy? Yeah. yeah, we happy. You want to kill that 3D printer? Uh, yes, indeed. And let's put down a double gunner. Yeah, you're. There we go. You've gotten some. You're gonna get some bucks. You're about to go buck yeah, wild. You, Give me those sweet, sweet robo bucks. No, Oof. give me bucks. 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 No. Yeah. Ugh, you oh. cheapskate. Con artist. And what does this do again? I, I always don't forget know. what uh I, I always forget don't what know. The... Oh, I think this is where you get to build your own card. Oh. Okay, cool. So you feed uh, which it one, one do we hate? Uh, I think we hate a couple of them. We hate that one. I think. Yeah, I because th we don't yeah, have many circuited let's... up cart. Like all of, I, I feel like we're not going heavy on circuits. You know. Yeah, totally. Um... So that one, because it's not a great card, only gives you a minimum benefit, right? So you can increase right. the cost by by hitting up and down on this screen here. So if you if you hop right. on back, you could make like a three cost or a four cost. Would you mind humoring me? I don't feel like you have any four-cost cards in this deck. Uh, yeah, so should we do a four-cost? Let's do That's a four. A five cost. There we go. And now we can yeah. make something with like a little that. more juice behind it. Uh, yeah, I think so, that's a great So you idea. see, like, you've got your resources up there in the upper right. Like, you're spending SP to, in, to create a better card, basically. Yeah. So, so that's let's like your... have this... Oh, interesting. That might be. What sigil do we want? No. Unkillable 2-1? That's not bad. It's, yeah, it's not bad. Stinky. Touch of death? Nah. So we don't have anything remotely like death touch. What's the cheapest death touch you could throw in there? Because then you could use that to kill um Zip's Tankstein or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good call. 
Is this the, that's the death touch. All yeah. right. So then if we do that, a one, one death touch. It's not a great we card, could. but it would be useful in certain circumstances. Yeah. And it's arguably better than what uh, we currently have with the, that goofy thing. The sure. gem. Yeah. Uh, all right. One, one death touch. Let's do it. You want to do a little character I creator like action it. here? Oh, Can we yeah, make him definitely. look extra, uh, extra assassiny since he is, that's all he's good for? Oh, heck yeah. I think that's such a good call. All right. Well, which is the most assassiny of these faces? I feel like that maybe. Sure. It's like that's a... the, uh, or, the, or the, that lunatic with the smiley face. <laughs> uh... <laughs> that's pretty good. I mean, I think clearly the most assassiny is that. It's the shotgun, yeah. I and mean, we can also capture yeah, his yeah. frailty potentially. I don't know how to do that. Yeah. Kind of like let's do let's do that. A yeah. sort of a baroque wig kind I love of it. effect, I feel. I love it. All right. He's now not big. Let's see. Uh, He's Lil, big. maybe. No. He's Lil. Yeah, I like Lil. I, I was pretty happy with our little two decks. Yeah. Um, Lil shoot. Lil shoot. All right. So we have Lil shoot, I feel like works. Lil shoot Matic. <laughs> yeah, I That's like that. That's pretty good. Lil shoot Matic. I also kind of like Lil, sh Lil shoot you. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> but a little, little shoot matic is good. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, I think we did a great job. We I, we devised I'm a card very with happy a very with clear yeah. use case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was your choice. Yes, it was. So I wonder if you fed it a better card, if you'd be able to get something better out of it, or if it all balances out on, in the wash as you like increase its energy cost. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm a little confused yeah, by the SP I, versus energy cost okay. thing. No, it's not. Calm down. Luke. Totally. Uh, did, yeah, and you turned on that, that thing? It is definitely not OP. Cool. Uh, yes, I believe I did. Yeah, there cool. we go. All right, so we've come up here. We're going down here. Does that crank do anything? And we already came over here, did the end. Oh, let's see. It does. Hey. <laughs> Golly dot zip. <laughs> Golly. Golly. Golly G. Golly. That's such a like bad GM move. The like uh, I don't like this character. <laughs> like Hey, here's a yeah. <laughs> here's a dumb thing that I think sucks that I'm gonna ask you to to get invested. Yeah. In. So. All right. Ooh, not a great opening hand here. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have a mulligan thing? We did at one point, right? In Act Two, we uh, did. Um, what are your items? I don't you got a board clear. Anymore. You've got nano armor, and you've got the energy reset. Okay. Got it. All right, that's the. All right, let's. Moles a zero four, and he's gonna move. To All block. Right. So. But he's not gonna attack. Well. I guess I'm just gonna put Emerald Vessel down here, and. Right. We'll so he there. moves on attack rather than moving on. Um, play. Right. <laughs> These are, in fact, my friends. Yeah, it's uh, our fr it's our friends whose really... names we will not say out loud so as to preserve their anonymity. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank heavens, a sniper bot. Um, great. Let's put um, that yeah. Down. How does the sniper bot interact with the mole? Do you think? 
Is this our this is our unkillable one too. If you um, throw that sniper bot down, right, and then target the fourth slot, yeah. does the mole jump into the fourth slot, therefore blocking that attacker think, that's coming in? I think so. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, let's try it. Like, can you yeah, kite the it. the mole around? You can. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Someone is trying to send me a card. Yeah, so it's like reading your actual Steam friends list and stuff. That's really funny. Do you want the Mummy Lord? Mummy Lord. Oh, no choice. I mean, how could I not want the... Yeah. How much energy are you looking at right now? Uh, Three? Let's see. Four. Four. So you can throw that Lord so out So we there. could get that... Yeah. And I think I'm just going to keep drawing real cards. Great. Yeah, let's get that Mummy Lord out there. And we'll just send him down the line. Or sure. maybe I ought to... Well, the mole will block him, so he'll kill the mole, which will then open you up to an attack from uh, from our friend. But Right, and I'll uh, use the sniper bot to take down uh, one of my other friends. <laughs> Very good. So we're going to take a little bit of dam here. Oh, boy. This is uh, not going well. Little, Let's little see. spicy. Do I take a vessel? Yeah. Um, hmm. We've got five, so we can play those that two and that three if you wanted to. Oh, it's the Wizbot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this right. might be Let's the put um, down the bus economy restart. Uh, get turn here. Theoretically. There we go. And let's do that. And then I'll oh, use yeah. the sniper no, bot good. to take down. We're good. Okay. And yeah, that one. Oh boy. Woof. Spicy. Pretty rough. Yeah. Uh, gonna go with a real draw again, I guess. Hey, little shoot Matic. Who do we need to take down? Hey. It's me. There we go. <laughs> Hi. It's you. I got a four attack. <laughs> Hello. I'm the one who's gonna make you lose the yeah. game. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you're doing really what good. What I always wanted. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put that down there, I think. Well, that's a four drop, I guess. So that's a lot. But you could restart. Uh, you could bust that. open the economy restart this turn. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I should probably. And then do you could that. throw the Orobot um, right down the middle if you wanted to. You could do anything. Yeah. It was almost. Um, no limit. Man, I am uh, having some analysis paralysis here. What do you? What do you? How are you feeling? What's a going on? A little bit, yeah. A little bit, yeah. I I am just a little tired today, and so I'm not uh, braining at my highest levels I've ever brained at. Um, so let's well, do that. Let's use the economy. I believe that the current situation as it stands is that you have a lot of great options, and whatever you do is probably going to work out fine. You know what I mean? Like I. You just gotta kind of sure put some cards so. down and uh, block attackers and throw a tough cell, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, why not? Uh, just, I think you just kind of need to go. live, you know? Yeah, totally. Um, I'm sorry, buddy, but I think I should probably, no, I should take down this flyer, I don't probably. Think... Yeah, that's probably right. Yeah. But you know what I mean? So it's like your vessel's gonna get killed. Like you're gonna have to deal with that death touch guy for a while until you throw a little shoot matic at him. Which um, I think I'll just do. Yeah, why not, right? right now. Yeah. And then I think you're, you're uh, good. And then, you yeah, know? I think we're all right. Who knows what the second um, hit point from this, um, you know, from this boss is gonna be, but you know, right. you got through it.
All right, let's make a card for someone else. How much energy um, do we want to do? Let's make a real beefer. Can we get as beefy? Right. Let's see, can we see how beefy we can get? Let's do uh, a real beef boy here. You want to do a beefy blocker? Yeah, let's do it. There we go. And then what can we add? And, ooh, quills good. could be good. Quills are cool. Uh, let's see, what else can we add? Maybe some leap leapfrogging? Yeah, I love it. Sentry's not bad. Yeah, sentry is pretty good. Uh, huh, I guess we don't have... We don't have... Um, let's see like, if we can... Uh, fly blocking. Leap here. Yeah. yeah. Well, should we do sentry and sharp quills? Yeah. I like it. All right. Yeah. Let's see. I like the extra hands to, to play up the extra yeah. defensive capabilities. I like that. Yeah, kind of a grumpy face yeah. for... <laughs> I'm sort of feeling the thumbs up. The thumbs up yeah. are hard to beat. Yeah. Uh, well, this one is Mr. I, I kind of like Mrs. Doctor. Oh, Doctor. You know, doctor. didn't spend four years in... Uh, um, blocker school to be just of a course. regular of course <laughs> all right doctor dr toot <laughs> i think dr toot uh dr toot esquire <laughs> that was kind of what i was thinking too yeah let's do it okay cool dr toot esquire well, i hope somebody out there enjoys dr toot esquire yeah there we go. I hope whoever gets it likes it too. Yeah, me too. I feel like we did a nice job designing a, another coherent uh, card. Yeah. I guess if you get up to six on your econ curve, you just want to kill at that point, but too bad. Yeah. Dr. Toot Esquire is about preserving your life. Oh no, our connection is no good. <laughs> Oh, this happened to me also um, that, oh boy, we're dropping more frames. Oh no. That's if they uh, win, annoying. Win. Let's see if I can make it so that we don't drop so many frames, shall we? Let's see if that helps us out at all. I'm really sort of enjoying this uh, lounge it's like music. Bossa Nova. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> this, so, so when I played this game, this happened to me also. I oh, just want to say, did. okay, yes, cool. it did. Um, so folks watching, if you see anything, um, like if this, if if we're dropping frames, if the stream is looking hitchy, let me know, and I will try to fix it using my endless stores of knowledge about, um, you know, computers and what have you. Oh, I think I see an issue here. <laughs> I, think, I think I found a problem. Um, yeah, I did. That's interesting. Okay. Hey, they want to make a change, and I'm going to see if uh, if this change fixes things. Let's see if this changes all of our problems. Okay. Uh, I think it did. And Armat, I'm going to talk to you <laughs> offline about what the dumb thing I did that ruined our stream was. Um, <laughs> I'll talk to you about that some other time. Cool. Sounds good. <sighs> hey, there we go. Ooh, and I get a little uh, thing. Yeah, so I just put our um, I just put our bit rate all the way up again to be uh, good because there was something that was happening that was making it bad. Ah, uh, oh well, I'm I'm glad that we fixed that. Uh, I can tell you in in vague ways that I think will be helpful for you. I 
the the file that I was creating by recording at home was automatically um, uploading to my um, <laughs> to my cloud storage backup solution, uh. thereby eating through all of our bandwidth and making it so we couldn't stream our game correctly. Makes sense. Makes you sense. learn something every day. Uh, and speaking of learning something, I'm going to have my vessels learn Mighty Leap. Hell yeah. Uh, which is what we were just talking about. I love so it. So there we go. Now they're even better blockers. Let's see if this crank does anything. Nope, not anymore. Uh, that's uh, right. that's what uh, a lot of people say. Let's see if this crank does anything. Right before making some serious life mistakes. No, not good. I liked it. Okay, I was there for it. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, the dredging room. It's probably nothing. All right, let's get up from the table and see what's going on here. It's time to investigate. Yeah, let's do some more escape room shenanigans. Dredging room sounds like a new zone, right? Like, I don't think we've gone into a dredging room before. Oh. oh. Wait. I found a robot. Whoa, this is new. <laughs> sure is. Pretty cool. Very what do cool. we got here? Very cool. Very cool. Well, the game's over. I hope you enjoyed your time with Inscription. I have, quite honestly. Oh, good. Yeah, no, it, it's been great. Can you walk around or anything down here? Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> here we go. Great transcendence. No, we don't think so. Leshy's voice continues to be fantastic. Yeah. The the rawr. Rawr. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh shit <laughs> that's intense so you see what I mean with the, like the gm and npc thing it's like you did not know going in that leshy as the gm of that first section was going to be a person who's like actual motivations or whatever were going to be fleshed out by then this broader sort of game controller of, you know, the uh, developers totally. of this piece of software. All right. So here we go. All right. <laughs> All righty, so keep going this way. Uh, so which way did we have to go from I don't know. here? No, um, if we get to a checkpoint, we can take a look at the map. Oh, that's um, I should have done that back up uh, there. Oh, let's see. He doesn't want you to talk to the NPC anymore. That's funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Um, did we go up here? Yeah, we did. Right. Hmm. And I'm assuming we yep. went up here. Yep. Yeah, this whole like three by three grid we're done with. So if you go down, oh, what's that? That's interesting. Oh, that. Can you click that? Oh, hello. Yeah. Is there any secret door around here? Like, if you click around the. The edges of the room or whatever doesn't matter oh shoot sorry um, um but it seems like what we have left to do is the leshy zone okay so uh so you can and you can fast travel from checkpoints so if you 
just keep going down. You'll get to another checkpoint, Here like right go. there. And so it's this one? No, Is it's that... over to the top right. You see how there's like a... Oh, oh, this one. Yeah, uh... that's where you'll go when you've done all four, right? Like that's sort of like the central transcendence spot like it was in the um, second act. Remember, okay. it's like you beat the four bosses, and then you went to that island with the, the four tombstones or whatever. Right, right. Yep. Oh, so I see. And those are the three. Yep. Got it. So it's so, waiting for you to beat Leshy, basically. Okay. So we'll go up here and we'll... <laughs> uh, okay. So we got to do that. Um... Well, let's explore over here quickly. See what we get. Uh, what's this one again? Is that a... I think it's just you get a card. You get a card? But it'll be like let's a beast it. card. Grizz? What's Grizz do? Oh, transform to or from beast mode. Well, you know right? how I feel about beast mode. I mean, I think we all feel great about uh, beast mode. So do you mode. want a balanced attacker beast mode? Do you want a more expensive defender beast mode or do you want a sentry drone basically let's go grizz right why not it like, fills a niche yeah or or should we do what is this quill quills yeah or quit <laughs> quit yeah i don't know oh well it's quill because it's a porcupine look at that little porcupine man right i'm kind of into the quill yeah, why wouldn't you be? Let's do that. Sure. There we go. Uh, and let's check out a uh, lesson. Yeah. Here we go. Hey, it's trees. Hey. Hey, it's quill. Hey, there we go. Um, well, let's put down a sapphire vessel, yeah? Yeah. Interesting. If I take the hit, though, that'll lower my yeah let's take the hit okay and Maybe don't forget that you stupid. can kill uh... uh oh beast mode don't forget that you can kill uh trees by hitting them with a hammer oh right 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 yeah good call um let's do a regular uh, tough cell let's just put tough cell down and uh block quill great yeah, that's all we can do. Great. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna put down. Am I gonna draw? How much do I have? I have four. It's risky to draw anything other than a vessel. A vessel. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking I'll put down the exoskeleton on that far edge. Sure. Deal with the bolt hound. Yeah. And I guess all I can do then is put down the sapphire vessel there. Which will kill Quill. Uh, terrific. Excellent. And now it's time to do some damage. Yeah. Hey. So if you blow up your own tree, you can have your double gunner get both parts of the bifurcated strike through if that's something you wanted to do. So you're, oh yeah. I think or you could just throw that. the Aurobot straight down the middle. Or you could do uh, both <laughs> next turn, you know? Yeah, I think let's do both next turn. Um, cool. This gives you some breathing room. A little bit of, uh, and let's throw, oh, um, let's grab another real card. Yeah, let's send Aurobot down the main pike there. Sure. And let's do that. Hey, there we go. Good enough. Good hey, enough. Hey, you want some money? Yeah, I love Robo. Are there any secret doors around here? No. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, oh. hello. Hey. It's here, go. Oh, peaches. <laughs> oh, peaches. I'm just about to mine it. Get all I needed. We're kicking the pants. 
What's that beast icon? I don't know. Let's check it out. Gain an alter ego. Beast cool. mode. Yes. 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 Who do we want to uh, beast mode? I don't know. I think we should do something a card that we like playing, though. <laughs> so yeah, it's I not just... <laughs> agree. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe an Orlu's vessel? You want an Orlu, a beast Orlu? Hell yeah. The, right? Doesn't yeah. that sound kind of cool? I, I love it. I like the crow noises. Which beast will live in my bot? <laughs> uh, three, one, flyer. Let's do the flyer. Sure. Yeah. It's a weird card, but let's do it. I it's love it. Weird card, and I'm into it. It transforms from a swamp into a whatever a, the, the the angel, angel card thing. from Magic: The Gathering Revised Edition that I remember. Oh, Sarah Angel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm an old person. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Love a Sarah Angel. Uh. Four four flyer. Uh, we'll put that down. Yeah, there. yeah. Uh oh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Ooh, jeez. Okay. Is th that's not our transforming. I think it's order. vessel time, probably. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, that's a flyer. Oh, but our vessels have mighty leap now, yes. which is dope. I think that that's. Good. Cool. Cool. And Great. I can also get a buff conduit. Sure, now. if you just want to eat a whatever, no problem. That card yeah. sucks. <laughs> we have to get rid of the buff conduit yeah. immediately. <laughs> yeah, it is real bad. Um, a presence. Oh, that's not Magnificus. That's that hat that was stuck. That was like on the second floor of Magnificus's tower. Oh god! <laughs> All right. Do, do we I have think enough? It's, I think it's bear double time. Gunner. Oh, double gunner! You want to throw out those double G's? Yeah, let's throw out the double G down the uh, down there and. All right. Cool. Get some uh, dam on the. Yep. You're gonna have to throw something in front of the Grizz next turn, though. No, you don't. He's dead. Yeah. Fantastic. There we go. Oh, he's mad. No. Aw, peaches. Aw, <laughs> peaches. It's totally sloppy. Uh, lore and flavor. Making the Gross. subtext text. You get it right. Perfect strategy is all that. That's funny. Um. Oh. Ooh. Peaches. You go. did it. They're just pelting down on me. Hey, you want some money? Is there anything in the south? I feel like I feel a south a southerly no. Okay. No, sadly. You want a card? Eh, nah. Not yeah. really. You wanna get rid of a card? Uh yes. Yes, I absolutely. So let's get do. rid of one of those shitty circuits. Yeah. Amoebot. Amoebot. What a great name. Said amorphous. This sigil. Oh, oh that's okay. kind of cool. Yeah. Sonya. What's she do? She oh, turns she... into a beast. I'm beast. guessing she's the flyer. She's like that bat that we saw before. Oh, or, that makes sense. I think likely. Uh, I'm going to take her. Sure. I think uh, it's pretty cool. I will give I'm you gonna... basically any card. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where is our. Buff conduit. Let's get that one out yeah, of there. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Cool. Beast. Beastify. All right, who are we going to beastify? Can we beastify the shield bot? Make yeah. him a little more exciting? Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Hmm. Let's do the wolf, yeah? Sure. Why not? Let's do it. Give I wonder it if the offensive. nano armor hangs out 
even when it transforms? Who I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Alrighty. Here we go. Alright. So here we go. You wanna block the yeah, there you go. Yeah. And that's all I can do. So if you draw another vessel, you've got a safe blocker. Another ruby vessel. Cool. And let's see. We can get an Orlu's vessel. Get a Bleen. Yeah. Get an Orlu. Orlu. You can get a Wizbot. They're all good. Ooh. They're all good cards. Let's put an Orlu down here. Sure. And, is this our beast Orlu? It is. Fantastic. Oh, very cool. Uh, and then let's put down a Bleeds Vessel. There we go. Get some damage on the board. Sure. Oh, boy. And let's grab a real card. Oh, great. Tough Cell. Everyone's favorite Tough Cell. Everyone loves Tough Cell. Wizrob. No. Oh. Oh yeah, Wizbot. Uh, and you could for... you could you could blow up that tree if you wanted to and just win. That's what I'm. You love to win as well. I do love to win. To be honest, I I know it's a, not a position a lot of people take, but I do <laughs> enjoy winning. Uh, yeah, no, it's fun. It's neat. It's uh it's all right. Oh hey, here we are. It's time to fight a boss. Great. I think it's funny that Poe, in particular, hates Leshy. Yeah. Yeah, I almost wish there was a little bit more of, like, the inter-scribe uh, dynamics, you know? Yeah, it's... um, I think that there is probably more that we could be finding. Like, we haven't found mm. as many secret cards in this act. Like, we haven't, like, solved all the puzzles and stuff like that. Yeah. In the first act you got a lot of that stuff i think because you found so much stuff um but i think a lot of those interactions are kind of limited to um side content kind of yeah that makes sense you as well are my instrument you will aim and i will capture <laughs> Um, Wizbot is really getting it done for me <laughs> these days. I, I agree. It's just so uh, charming, you know? Yeah. Um, all right, let's put down an emerald vessel, and uh, that's what we got. That's what we got. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Shutterbug. Great song by, um, oh, God, it's off Sir Lucius Left Foot. Um, Big Boy. By Big Boy? Yeah. By Big Boy. Uh, you could make. I think you could make Big Boy in this game with the card creator. You could oh, make yeah. a You could make a hybrid big. You could make a Big Boy two thousand if you wanted to. Uh -huh. Do you get know what I'm saying? Oh, I'd like to do that. Yeah, that'd be fun. So, what are we doing here? I think you're um, just clicking a button and fig and learning. Okay, there we go. My friend will remember that. All right. Interesting. All right. Um, let's see. Pretty We're scary. Yeah, this is a little, a little intense. We got one one century death touch. Uh -huh. Let's put down a sniper bot. Okay. Uh, is this our unkillable? It is. It is. I, I believe we only have the unkillable now. Uh, that's that was a good choice on our part. <laughs> uh. Oof. All right, I guess. So you could revert. So the the thing is, you can revert to that prior board state if you want to. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Which do I we want it? You may want to. Yeah. Because your economy is better now. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was kind of neat. Yeah. 
All right, let's put down an Orlu's vessel. There you could go. do Orlu and a uh, sniper bot, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Might even be able to get. Uh... No, let's do sniper bot. And uh, there we go. Unkillable seems very good for this thing where you can revert bird board states. Yeah. Uh, let's take a new picture. Yeah. Cool. Draw that up. And this is the guardian. This one that when you play somebody, it jumps over to their space. Well, let's pop down an exoskeleton. Sure, why not? Um, and then we've got... You could whizbot if you wanted to. Let's whizbot. You can whizbot if you want to. And I think then you win. Oh, yeah. There we go. Cool. Oh, that sniper bot. Yeah, save this. Yeah, there we go. Because you can just cheese damage down the middle and draw whatever cards you want to. <laughs> I I like this plan. Oh, um, F-O-H, tough sell. Yeah. Uh, let's put the quill down the middle. Sure. Yeah. Why not? And uh, there we go. Um, yeah, I'm going to take a picture of this. I think this is pretty solid. All right. Or do you think I ought to revert? I think you're fine whatever you do here. Mm. Yeah. All right. There we go. Got that. Or a bot. Oh, perfect. I'm going to do that. How much life does this thing have now? Pretty good. Pretty right. good. <laughs> there we go. There it is. I think that'll do her. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sweet, sweet Robux. I think, it was, I think you kind of had it. <laughs> I think it was kind of done. I hey. wonder if you're supposed to come up here early and, like, um, coming to this in the fourth slot made it a little less challenging. Because that, that seemed be. very manageable. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely not uh, the biggest challenge. Great transfer. Alrighty, go back to the start. Right here, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Alright. Yeah. Cool. I guess we go this way and this way. Of course I remember Wilk and Clank. Wilk and Clank, one of my faves. What a character. <laughs> <laughs> I like that Poe is now like waxing rhapsodic about uh, his own game campaign. But he's incapable of selling anything. Like he doesn't yeah. have a storyteller's bone in his body. Right, you know? totally. He gets it, he feels it, but he's not able to express what he needs to express. You totally. Know? <laughs> Great job. Oh, so we are Luke. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's so great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so it's like you're uploading the game to Steam, basically. <laughs> like you, I love you, that. He tricked you into becoming a publisher. <laughs> that's really funny. I feel like that's a, a story twist that only a person who has, um, like, self-published a game would ever think to do. <laughs> <You know>? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Poe, you've gotten your head ripped off. Oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, all Grimora wants to do is delete the game. Yeah. Kind of makes sense. And then there's the old data and the Bone Lord. <gasps> R.I.P. Bone Lord. So it's like Poe wanted to upload himself and publish the game. Leshy wanted to kill Poe to continue the cycle. And Grimora just deleted the entire game. Ending yeah. the cycle. Love it. What was Magnificus's motivation? Do we think? <laughs> I don't know a lot about Magnificus. Get a trim. Uh, <laughs> what can you do you have control over the game now? Uh yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Wait, I thought I put the... I think you did, and it deleted it. Oh. Oh, fascinating. Anything else? Oh, there are some eyes back there. I think I've done... Oh, there's something. Is there? Yeah, I think so. I think you just needed to take another step forward and then turn. Uh, doesn't seem like I can't. Oh, there we go. Cool. See, so let's go here. Oh, I get to choose one of these. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, interesting. Uh, I'm going to take the Banshee, I think. Which I think connects into the stuff that we saw of like the Department of Defense thing and Yeah. Oh I'm, I see. Okay. Um let's 
master on one of those, I think. I have one bone. Put that down and we'll put a grave digger down. So I guess that, that stack is all skeletons, basically. That makes sense. Skeletons are now the... Uh, squirrels. We, uh, squirrels, not weasels. <laughs> Let's do that. I like that the uh, bell is now a... Uh... The knock thing. Yeah. Oh, well, that was arguably kind of goofy. But that but... card disappeared. That skeleton is gone. That one that attacked... Oh, right, because it died. And meanwhile, the deleting disk contents meter continues ticking away. So Frankenstein. Here we go. That should be. <laughs> On the. Oh, uh, what was it? The Carnoffle code? The Carnoffle code. code? Oh, best not to say it. Ooh, I'm so excited. All right. Let's move forward. I think you can get over there. I think you just need to click on the square itself. Oh. Um. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. You've done it. Woo. Boss battle. Cool. <laughs> oh. So they made that whole thing just for this like interactive cinematic of having it deleted in front of your eyes. That's right? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Kind of lovely in a funny way. You know? I agree. Let's sack that and put out our mantis. Oh man. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. And that's the game. <laughs> so that I think is like the most lovely thing in this entire game is Leshy insisting on continuing to play after the, the um, yeah. after the scales have been deleted, just so you can play the game just for the sake of playing a game. It's, yeah. you know, I feel like this game has a lot of things to say about playing games. Like it's a game about games. Yeah, and I think that's it's like a very simple narrative turn that I think tells you a lot about the characters as it's happening. You know, totally. Yeah, I feel like Leshy is the one who just like loves playing this game. Yeah, basically. I can't draw blood. All right. Well. Ah, interesting. Want to get squirrely? Yeah, let's get squirrely. And there we go. My larva. It is strange. Oh, skink forever. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you. And I think returning to Leshy here is like very nice. Yeah, it's a nice like sort of closing of the loop in a funny way. You begin with him and you end with him. And returning to your winning deck, which you've like forgotten about. You've played so many iterations of this game at this point, right? Like you've played 
Yeah. Every permutation possible, and then to return to this thing that you made, this like skink forever card that we made, like to commemorate so another thing that we lost before this. You know, it's like so many layers of. Yeah. You know. No, it's it's uh, really kind of lovely. Um, And now your pupa is a, a world destroyer. <laughs> Seven three flying Mothman. <laughs> Good lord. He doesn't care about winning. <laughs> He's just yeah. like, ah. <laughs> Squirrel it. Live to see more. Oh, the yeah. old data. I'm excited to see what uh, the Carnoffle code is. Bear in mind, though, that there is this whole ARG aspect of this game also. Right. So I think I kind of believe there is a story that this is telling, but then there is a deeper sort of context that you can get otherwise got it oh mothman r.i.p mothman um let's take a real card ah failure <laughs> oh maybe kill the mole man yeah that's right um oh boy yeah we had some real ridiculous cards in this deck <laughs> We sure did, yeah. Uh, I'll take the pronghorn. Uh, let's get a squirrel out there. Uh, it's maybe time to sacrifice failure. Yeah. For the pronghorn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there we go. I feel like that's something we didn't actually really wind up doing all that much was like f letting cards live until their health was sort of irrelevant and then sacrificing them. Like yeah. that's something that it feels like you should be doing a lot of that we didn't really do all that much. And I, and I don't I don't think that's a, I'm not saying that to criticize you as a player. I think that there aren't actually that many opportunities to do that in the game. Like, I think the game wants to be about sacrificing cards that you don't need anymore. Like, the first, the Act 1 version of the game. Mm. Um, oh, my right. cards are gone. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Goodbye, Leshy. You were a good game master. Oh, peaches. Oh, peaches. No. Can you walk around at all? No, no it's a fade. Cool. This is rad. Yep. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> It's a very Grant Morrison too. I feel like, mm. um, like a very animal man. Oh, here's Magnificus. <laughs> yeah. So let us dance. So I was saying before that I feel like the Poe joke about self-publishing is something that only like a developer and creative person who has actually done that would come up with. I think that also <laughs> coming up with all of these assets to make this like stone card uh, dual disc or whatever. Yeah. Is something that only a self-publisher would do because no, no one would 
like no publisher would approve the development of these assets for this purpose, you know? Right. <laughs> that makes sense. All right. What are we putting down? Junior Sage, March, May. Uh, So that's what I can do, I guess. Is there a go button you can push? Like the, the equivalent of the, the bell? Oh, there's a bell up there down below oh. you. Oh, <laughs> this is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh, but apparently in Yu-Gi-Oh, there's a lot of like putting a thing on your arm and playing onto the thing. Do you get what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like yeah. I think this this dual disc thing is partly a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. So there we go. And uh, hit the bell. Oh, I see. So that guy, that, that golem became a mox upon dying. Hmm. Let's draw a real card. Yeah, so hopefully you draw into an orange card. You did. Excellent. Cool. All right. Oh. <sighs> oh, yeah, he's a painter. Nothing beautiful can last. Some damage, I guess. <laughs> Real card. Yeah. There we go. Great. That's all I can do. Yeah, I do think this part of the game is maybe a little less easy to figure out what you're supposed to do in, like, the draw and economy stuff don't work, really. Yeah. You're like, gosh, uh, I hope I draw one of the three colors or something that I need. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's a little, like, like ugh, all right, great. Well, you don't have to play it. Okay. Yeah. Well, this guy won't. Yeah. Oh, and also these assets are missing anyway, so. <laughs> oh, a gem fiend. I can't play that. Uh, all right. There we go. All there right. Yeah. Take care of that guy. Oh yeah, this starts happening. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I get... Well, I seem to have been getting nothing but ruby moxes here. Well, let's use it to block this guy, I guess. And that's all we can do. <laughs> it's a nightmare. It's just a yeah. complete nightmare. <laughs> 
Hey, a sapphire mox. Astounding. Oh, the floor's um, gone. Oh. <laughs> I probably want to hurry. <laughs> and let's get a. Oh, oh nope. <laughs> No, that's kind of sad. Hey, son. Is there anything you can do? Can you walk around at all or anything? Oh, oh yeah. It's my little guy. data. That's a story for another time. Hey, Luke, this is Herman from the Herald. Just following up after the message you left me this morning. Do you have time to talk right now? Yes, yes. Thank you so much for getting back to me. Uh, no, no problem, Luke. Um, if I understand you correctly, you've got some video footage that might expose uh, uh, some malpractice on the part of a uh, game publisher, Game Luna. Yes, yes, that's right. I have. Firstly, I have a game of theirs that took control of my PC for a bit, which which can't be legal. And then this woman from the company came to my house and told me, okay, uh, hold on a second. Let me just get my pen and pad here, okay. Uh, okay, so you have a game of theirs that took, uh, was it a, a virus or something? I told you. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> they killed him. Forget it, Jake. It's game Funa Town. <laughs> Fascinating. So the old data was uh, apparently... Uh, some sort of DOD. Yeah, I mean, the implications that I draw, and I think people have better answers for this, that like Carnoffel code and the idea of like the Bone Lord and all this stuff, it's like there's some sort of like demonic presence on the disc that led to this like consciousness of the scribes and so on. So it's like the game is about the scribes, their conflict with each other and their attempt to like escape this cycle but also about Luke discovering this and learning the like, you know, the yeah, the history of Game Funa and Casey Hobbs and how like a generation ago people were killed trying to do sort of what he's doing now, right? Cool. Yeah, makes sense. Um, but there's more to the story. It's just like not related to the like the plot of the game, you know? Got it. So I think if you want to dive deeper into it, you can. That's something you can do. Yeah, I I have to admit I'm like a little fascinated by what the like redacted stuff we saw was like. 
It, that's a thing that I love in games. I love I love it when games like tease you with stuff like D like right on the margins of, of, of what it is that you're seeing with some sort of like tantalizing Easter egg kind of thing. Totally. You know what I mean? Like that's something that you can do in games that can't really be done in or in video games specifically that can't really be done in other media. These like this idea of like mist these mysteries hidden behind layers and layers of of stuff that you were meant to see. Like I remember after Super Mario Brothers 60 or after Super Mario 64 came out for a decade, people had talked about different ways that you could find to get Luigi. Like people were talking about how Luigi is like hidden in the third level in the like ghost ship. And if you, you know, it's just like that kind of stuff I think yeah. is like a thing that I remember as a kid growing up, loving about video games, just imagining these things that you only barely have access to. And I feel like, this game and in that part of the narrative is tapping into that very real experience that a lot of people have. Totally. I love Easter eggs in games. I have to say, like, I think they're so much fun. Um, and there's stuff that we did not see. Like we got the mycologist's key, but we did not fight the mycologist in the third right. act. We didn't, we never found them. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, I assume there is a ton actually. We didn't, get to we, that we, we never solved like, that sliding puzzle in the third act right yeah no a ton of um things that just like uh i'm sure there's even things we just didn't see like or the puzzle you know what i yeah. mean like that gave us the um the chance to um and we cheated a little bit in the second act where where you know we like i, I we sort of like I fed you the stuff that like got you towards the mycologist key and the bone lord key and that kind of thing, just because I feel like and seeing that stuff is is more fun. But I completely missed that my first way, th my first time. Oh through. no, kidding! Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Didn't no, see any I of that stuff. I, um, I I was glad you did because uh, I would have uh, been sad to miss the uh, <laughs> the bone lord. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, and I don't even know what the point of that bone lord thing is. Like that bone lord key. Which like, you worked really hard to get and was very specific, like the broken oval needing to be put together to yeah. create this completed oval that then you feed to the demon that's waiting in the coffin in the basement of a completely different part of the game. Like stuff like that, that where there's no earthly way where a person would organically come by that <laughs> unless they were obsessively trying to find things. Totally. Um, yeah, no, it was so cool. And I... I I I thought that was the most fun. Um, I had a, such a good time playing this uh, and exploring it, and like, yeah, I totally would have um, been bummed to miss uh, the Bone Lord. So I'm glad you yeah. us there. And I think that there is something that, like, again, I don't have exposure to. I haven't delved into the ARG side of things because the other side of that coin is while I love the secret things hidden in video games, the idea of engaging with an ARG like makes my skin crawl for whatever reason. <laughs> I, I just like, that. I just don't want to be, cause I feel like it's marketing ultimately. And I just like mm -hmm. hate the idea of I'm going to dive into engaging the marketing. Yeah. I remember I did the ARG that, which was the first one that I was aware of that came out when that, when the Steven Spielberg AI movie came out. Oh, yeah. There was like an ARG associated with that, which I, for a lot of people, was the first one that people had seen of like websites telling the story of something or other, like, you know, secret messages hidden inside the header of JPEGs and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm trying to think what my first ARG that I saw was. Was there a Halo one? Yes. The I Love Bees yeah. ARG. Yeah. I think that was the first one I was aware of. Um, but I, I, I didn't really participate in it. I was just like, oh, that's kind of a cool thing. Well, I was too dumb to make any progress myself, right? Like there were people who were way more dedicated than, than I was. I was never going to be the one that found the next yeah. like breadcrumb on the breadcrumb trail. That was and, how I always felt too, is it just like there are more dedicated people than me. Right. Gonna, yeah. Whereas playing a video game and having <laughs> having breadcrumbs, you you get to play the game. You get to do the thing. You make the choices, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then I also feel like guilty if I get really invested in something. I'm like, what is it ultimately that I'm investing in? Like, what is this game? On? What is the story that this ARG is telling? Usually the story it's telling is by Halo 2. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's like exactly. Well, that's a story I'm getting from advertising. Um, so, my friend was just sending me um, an interesting thing of an ARG. Uh, let me see if I can call it up. Um, let's see. Um, Gabe Smedriman's uh, first person travel. Um, it looked hmm. pretty cool, actually. It's like, it's, uh, you know, basically they set up a big LARP or ARG for you to interact with um, while traveling, uh, which sounds oh, that's pretty neat. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sounded uh, pretty awesome. Uh, he sent me the link to it the other day and I was checking out. Is, is it like a... Um... Like an automated thing that you sign up and then start sending you text messages or things like that, or is it like there are actors like calling you and? Yeah, stuff? I think it's more the latter, where it's like kind of like that Michael Douglas movie, The Game, where it's like a you know. Yeah, yeah. Which um, sounds awesome if you're up for it, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I always have a little bit of like hesitation i think on that stuff for some reason i don't know why um what sort of hesitation i don't know i just feel like if i was traveling i'd want to just like go travel, travel you know yeah. i need an yeah. arg when i'm not traveling i need a, i need an extra yeah. layer added to my normal dumb life not my totally not my escape from my normal dumb life exactly yeah no uh, agreed um but on the other hand, if that was like what you wanted to be doing, like I had a great time at Sleep No More and like mm -hmm. loved that. Uh, mm -hmm. Thought it was super cool. So I'm sure it's amazing. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Let's see. Do, are you aware oh. of the culture in Sleep No More where it's like people on message boards talking about the different ways that you can try to increase your likelihood of getting uh, private one-on-one -on -one scenes with actors? No, I oh. was not aware of that. That's kind of cool. That that thing is done. Let's let's get out of. Yeah. Let's. Uh, how do I do this? There we go. Hi, it's me. I'm back. Hello. Yeah, your broadcast ended, and then it was just like that's the end of the the game. Oh, the game just like quits to quits, quits to desktop. Yeah, <laughs> that's so <laughs> funny. That's so funny. <laughs> that feels very in line with the. Um, uh, the ethos of absolutely the game. yeah totally. absolutely <laughs> having a, the game ends its narrative and just goes <laughs> womp, womp. just shits the bed uh it's Love perfect it. well armat we did it we played through inscription there's Woo! now if you want to continue with this um there's also that casey's mod which is the right that's like the the thing that they added well after the release of the game that's like the uh like endless roguelike where they take the mechanics of the first part of the game of the first act of the game and then make that into a thing that you can just sort of like play oh, that's uh, fun. and do deck building and, and go on runs and like it adds challenge to this game that the way that it's exploited in the actual inscription is meant to just be like sort of a narrative stumbling block. Right. You know, that makes sense. Um, I don't know if I see myself doing that. I um, agree. Uh, people yeah. like it. There's a lot of positive stuff about it, but I kind of feel like at the end of, like by the end of those, uh, the, those credits, when you unlock the old data and the thing crashes, like I felt like I had gotten what I needed out of inscription personally. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I feel like the narrative is like very complete for me and sort of, uh, sewn up in a nice way that, uh, I, I'm very happy with my inscription experience. I loved it. Um, but like, yeah, I don't necessarily need to play the card game uh, again right now. But I might actually change my mind, uh, you know? like We had one person who came in here to, to, to watch us a while who was like, oh, are you playing the story mode? And the idea that like the, for a lot of people, the default way that they play this game is with the Casey's mod thing. Um, it's a little different from the way that I, like it, I think I'm just like too narratively minded for, for that to like, to really be able to dive into it, especially when the narrative is so great, yeah. you know, <laughs> like, it's such a good story. It's yeah. like really fun. And like, yeah, very Grant Morrison. -y. 
to me um or uh where you get like animal man the game coming to life and uh anyway yeah i i loved it i thought it was awesome um and I have to admit, if I was going to play a card or deck builder uh, card game, uh, I would probably lean towards Slay the Spire or uh, yeah, something magic. that's like really built from the ground to be mechanically like oriented. Yeah, totally. like infinitely like mechanically compelling. With, I mean, for all I know, the Casey's mod is like better than I understand it. You know, like maybe it maybe it it scratches that itch. Maybe it hits that 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 level. Yeah, um, I could see that. Um, but yeah, I think uh, that would be. I it wouldn't be my first thought, I guess. Yeah. Um, so so but, we got to uh, find a new game to play. I know. I'm excited to uh, figure out what we're gonna do next. Yeah, me too. Um, I saw you're gonna be doing Citizen Sleeper. Uh, Citizen Sleeper coming? starts on Monday cool. at eight thirty Eastern time. I'm gonna be playing a Citizen Sleeper. I know that that game has a lot of text. I don't know if that game has a lot of voice acting. I may, you may just be tuning in to hear me read you a story about being a citizen sleeper or whatever it is that that thing is about. So, um, so yeah, that's right happening at eight thirty. What else is going on in Tabletop Goldland? Let's talk about it. We've got uh, the next podcast is coming out on Monday. Monday, yeah. Some exciting uh, and stuff. That's going to be in, exciting. In that one. Getting yeah. into the end of book one of. Yeah. Of abom what what is their game called? Of Abomination Vaults. Yeah. Should be pretty exciting. Lots of fun stuff going on. We've got games on Monday night, Saturday afternoon, and the podcast comes out every Monday morning. Right? Yeah. Yes, Armand, indeedy. Do you have any other any final thoughts about inscription before we uh close off our broadcast for the day? Or or do we think we've said it all? You know, I don't think I have any at the moment, but I'm going to be thinking about inscription for a while, I feel like. Uh, like yeah, yeah. As I go back through our, you know, all the different uh, sort of um, modes of play it went through. Um, yeah. And yeah, I, I thought it was great. Uh, really kind of innovative and fun and uh, clever in, in a lot of ways. Do you see what I mean? When when we got into Act Two, I, I sort of said a couple times something like, "There's some criticism of this game that the best part of it is the first part of it, and that like Act Two is not as exciting as Act One." And then I was just like, "But I think it's really more the sum of the parts are are really what you're into this." So I kind of like think critiquing one part versus another part is kind of like too narrow a criticism of something like this, you know? Totally. Uh -huh. Yeah. It, it it really is about the whole gestalt, I feel like. And yeah. the, the like you have to play through the whole game in order to get the complete effect, I feel like, and like see everything that it's been doing and how it pays off. And yeah, I I uh I thought it was very, very cool and very well um designed it and, and actually really well rendered character wise too. Like even the thing where Magnificus, who's been the most distant of all three isn't the one that doesn't shake your hand at the end you know in some ways it feels like very characteristic of him in a funny way um yeah and he's ultimately like, pathetic yeah. right he's like crawling towards you it's he gets he has no dignity at the yeah. end of, of the thing it's really it's, affecting actually yeah I, like kind of sad like green cousin it's going bye-bye yeah and and Yes, totally. Well, uh, yeah. let's let's wrap it up. Armat, thank you for uh, for for. Okay, so one playing through that game was great. Two, that was our tenth oh, episode, yeah. and and streaming inscription was the very first time we streamed any streamed anything. And you and I have been learning how to do streaming, like trying to like bootstrap our skills up like very quickly over ten episodes. <laughs> so I'm glad to get to the end of this game totally. because it has this like cool narrative endpoint. But I'm also glad to get to this game because it's like you and I working together trying to figure out how to do this stuff was like a a really fun experience. And it's the this this will always be the first game that you and I stream together. And and I and I I'm so glad yeah. that it was. You know? Me too. I I loved every moment of this. Uh, learning how to stream, learning to um, to sacrifice, you know, squirrels. do Twitch. 
oh. sacring, sacrificing squirrels. Yeah. No, I mean, like, it's just been a blast, man. Um, and I look forward to our next game playing yes, together. It's going to be really fun. You and I should talk about uh, in a little bit. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> uh, bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Have a great week uh, this coming. Have a great long weekend if you've, if you've got a long weekend. And have a great week next week. And uh, stick around and we'll see you, see you some other time. Yeah. And come uh, hang out on the Discord if uh, if you haven't already. Yeah. Uh, you can find the Discord if you go to our Twitter account, twitter.com slash tabletopgold. Okay. See you guys later. <laughs>